Let me now move on to the north, back up to the north. Uh, as you know, the, the area around the border of Lebanon has been under fire. There's been a relative calm. But there's been five, there's been a lot of missiles that have been sent over from Lebanon, from Hezbollah, from uh, Hamas in Lebanon, across into the Israeli territory. Gior Salz is the chairman of the Upper Galilee Regional Council. He's joining me now from Kiryat Shmona. Gior, thanks so much for joining us. You stay behind. Why? What, what do you mean, stay behind? Well, I mean, uh, the, the entire place was evacuated. You're there. Uh, you mean personally? Personally. Well, you're right. You know, it's we are, we, like the soldiers, you know, we are the municipality leaders. We have to stay in our places. First of all, there are still some people that they are living in our uh, uh, settlements, in our kibbutzim, because we evacuate our residents. We didn't evacuate our settlements. It's very important that some of us will stay in those uh, places. So the other people that's already evacuated uh, will they have the opportunity to come back. So yes, we are here. We have some kind of a emergency team of our municipality that stayed here. In, it, it's a shelter, it's a big shelter, that we are trying to operate both the war situation, but also, you know, we have to continue our services like uh, collecting garbage, and, and uh, we have some kind of, of, of schools in some of our, our kibbutzim. So we do have to both to, to manage the routine of the municipality and to manage the war situation, which, as you said just now, we are in this war situation already since October 7th, although the volume of this uh, situation is not like in the south, like in Gaza, but we are in a war, we are in a military zone, I would say. We have here tanks and, and uh, many, many soldiers and uh, artillery all day, all the day, so it's complicated living here, but uh, some of us should stay here so the others that's already evacuated uh, can come back and uh, some someday it might take weeks, maybe even more, but uh, we will be back in our settlements, in our kibbutzim, in our moshavim, in Kiryat Shmona, in Shlomi. At the end of this uh, war, we will come back, all of us, uh, to our places to, to continue our great lives here at the Upper Galilee, the north of Israel. Great, Gior, you met with, President, with Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday. What did he tell you? Uh, I think it's more important what we told him. And we asked him some things like uh, to, to support those uh, residents that evacuate from our municipality and some other municipalities, because you have to understand that uh, those people that the government is supporting them evacuate because of, I would say, military needs. It wasn't out of the risks uh, assessments of the residents, which this is what we have, have done. So I think that's one third of my residents that's evacuated is uh, supported by the government, but two thirds, uh, it's around 9,000 uh, uh, residents that's already evacuated from our municipality, have no support from the government. So we ask him, please support those residents as well. The second thing that we asked him uh, is, I would say, the, the economic security, which is not less important than the uh, military security, and all the programs that uh, we have, all those uh, benefits that uh, residents should have because they're already six weeks uh, without, they are not working, they are running around, they have their own, uh, uh, they, they don't have their salaries, so we ask him that this uh, economic support will include all the people from the north that uh, their lives stopped at uh, November 7th. And the third and the most important thing that we asked him, that in addition to, to bring back all those uh, people that was kidnapped, in addition to, I would say, uh, bring some security to the south of Israel, one of the goals of the aims of this war should be that's also the citizens, the residents of the north that's living near the border will have the ability to come back to their settlement, to the kibbutzim, to the town, to the Kirash Mona, 100% safe for a long time. Because if they will continue see the Hezbollah in front of their eyes, if the Hezbollah will stay in, on the other side of the fence of Israel, some of those families, mainly the, the young families with young kids, I'm afraid they won't go back 
those are houses and it's a it's an issue it's a big issue right Gear, so, so many so many people first. So many people, so many of the military analysts have said that what Hezbollah is trying to do in the north is to have a war of attrition, that this could take months, if not years, of this constant small little flares that go back across, across all the time. And did you, did you Giora, did you feel that you felt secure for, with your meeting with the prime minister that what you have up there is a secure zone that you're able at some point to come back? No, not at all. That's exactly what you said just now. This was the situation in the south for many many years that's every month or years there was some kind of a military event and then it stopped and then we wait another one year one and a half years three years to the next event this is not a situation that we can live with it in, in the north especially after october 7th after this horrible saturday you have to understand and i think all of us should understand that the citizens the residents of israel after the 7th of october are not the same residents. Israel as a state is not the same state like it was till uh, October 7th, and we should understand it. And people, after they saw the movies, after they know what's happened there, they won't, some of them, won't go back to their uh, places unless they will be 100% secure. And the prime minister said that he understand it and that this will be one of the aims of the war, of this war. But I can tell you that if the solution, I would say, will be some kind of a arrangement, some set, some between the uh, Iranians and the United States and Europe, it it, it wasn't, it, it will not hold water. We should be in a position that we won't see eye by eye the Hezbollah around or, 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 the, or the next side of the fence. If this won't be the situation, some of the people, some of the families won't go back to their Places. And again, it's not the issues of those residents. It's actually, I would say, maybe a big world. But this is a challenge for the Zionists' values. It's not only those people that maybe won't come back to their places. If they won't be 100% secure, the Zionist values, the Zionist idea can be under a big, big challenge, which it wasn't this way more than 100 years. We didn't have this kind of a challenge, of the Zionist challenge, like we have after October 7th, this horrible Saturday. We understand it. I hope the government will understand it. And I know what I'm saying. I know the meaning of a big military event up north, but I think we won't have any other solution but to do some kind of a military event. It can take, as you said, the weeks, maybe months, but we should know that in the end of this war, we will be 100% secure for many, many years. Kira Sals, thanks so much for joining us, the chairman of the Upper Galilee Regional Council. He's joining me from Kiryat Shmona. Stay safe, be well.